Okay, well, Santa Fe Indian Market Week is underway, and we are celebrating all week right here on New Mexico Style. Now, the market draws over 150,000 people to Santa Fe every August with its unique and awe-inspiring events, and today we are featuring the artist-designed collection. And with us this morning is Stacy Brasi, who works in the Public Relations Marketing and Programming Department at the Southwestern Association for Indian Arts. Swire. <laughs> it's so good to have you. Yeah, it's good to be here. Thanks for letting me wear the t-shirt, by oh, the way. Totally. Well, you know, I want to tell our viewers that if they don't know, if they didn't hear us talk about this yesterday, you know, this marks the first year ever for the Artist Design Collection. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, sure. So this Artist Design Collection is this hot new thing we're introducing to Indian Market this year. Yeah. And it's where we get an artist uh, to, deline, to uh, design the line of merchandise for specifically for this year's Indian Market. And nice. like through that, he's kind of designing the look and the feel and the energy of the market, um, which is awesome because we have like from this traditional remember us design all the way up to this crazy kind of graffiti style. <laughs> yes. And it really just shows like how there's a place for traditional native art and contemporary mm. native art in market this year. Good point. I mean, and the one I'm wearing as well, and I want obviously to highlight the artist oh, himself. Yeah. And you've chosen artist, let me say it right, Erin Kinate. Yeah, Erin. Yes, and a very talented artist indeed. There's a picture. And you know, to create a set of bold looks that capture the spirit of Indian market, we need to understand him and his work. Tell us a little bit about him. Um, Aaron is awesome. It's been really fun working with him. Um, not only really cool, but as an artist, mm. he's just amazing. Aww. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he's super talented. He's a painter, he's a jeweler, uh, he does um, dance, he's a musician, he's an actor. And it really makes sense because uh, He's got like experience putting his ideas through these different medias. Yeah. And it's kind of like what he, we asked him to do with, uh, you know, the iPhone cases. Oh, the, wow. The t-shirts, uh, uh, temporary tattoos, stickers, water bottles, all kinds of fun so stuff. He's doing it with everything. Yeah. And, and, you know, you mentioned dance. And, you know, yes. that's an incorporation of all the arts together because this is what's really cool is his designs are going to be featured at the hip hop hoop dance fashion show on Saturday. <laughs> and I was saying yesterday, you know, you don't normally see a fashion show incorporated with a dance show. So yeah. tell us about this. This uh, sounds super cool. I think hip hop hoop, it's going to be, I love that, it's gonna be awesome. It, it definitely is going to showcase kind of how we're feeling about market this year. Yes. Um, it's going to be on Saturday from 1230 to 1. Okay. Uh, it's going to have this all native dance troupe, um, Southwest Savages. We're also going to bring in uh, these world renowned hoop dancers, uh, oh Shandine and Nakota. Lawrence and it's just gonna be it's gonna go off you don't want to miss it <laughs> yeah it sounds so much fun and obviously you're also passionate about it which always makes oh, yeah. it that much better oh, and so yeah. much fun really and excited. seeing the fashions like while people are dancing I just yeah. it, it takes it to a whole new level <laughs> I love that and you know obviously that's one amazing thing happening but there's other new things happening at market this year what else oh, can yeah. we expect um well personally new things I'm really looking forward to is just yeah. the new art that we're coming up with yeah um because we're really encouraging younger artists and people pushing boundaries of like you know, what is native art and what is art in general? Right. Just art's this evolving thing, and I'm really pumped about that. Like, as a native artist Aww, myself, it's nice. just, I get super stoked seeing, you know, the new things that people are coming up with and where, like, native art is going right now. And sharing it with the whole world. Yeah, because exactly. Because the whole world is invited. So, <laughs> if you had to say, if people, you know, have a limited time or they're planning their itinerary, what events should not be missed? <laughs> well, the hip hop hoop. Yeah, for sure. Show. That's That one. should definitely be on there. Um, well, just get to Santa Fe Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of things going down. Um, there's also the Native Cinema Showcase. Right, we talked about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely some fun films. Um, oh, and the highlight is the Native American Clothing Contest on Sunday morning. Nice. Which is definitely shouldn't be missed. And of course, you're seeing some photos right now of all the excitement, and we're really looking forward to this. There's so oh, many yeah. things to see, so many things to be proud of, too, for all those artists out there. And I know that they're so proud to show all of their work and their creativity to the whole world. So where can our viewers find a complete schedule of events? Um, jump on our website. We're okay. at SantaFeIndianMarket.com. Um, we're also on Facebook. Check us out there. If you want, you can follow us on Instagram. We have some fun photos posted all the time. Oh, and nice. And then if you want the up-to-date, up-to-date, we're on Twitter, too. Okay, I need to follow you. I will. <laughs> yeah, Stacey, definitely. thank you so much. You're so great. much fun. And thanks again for letting me oh, wear the yeah. T-shirt. I like yours, too. And Kristen is coming up next with weather. Don't go away. All right, thanks. <laughs>